Coverage moves now to Simmons Vanessa Medina. She's live at the federal courthouse in West Palm Beach where the suspected shooter faced a judge. Vanessa. That's right. Just a short time ago, Ryan Routh did go before a judge before his initial appearance. He appeared in shackles. His face was nonchalant as he now faces these federal gun charges. Ryan Routh goes before a judge in West Palm Beach Monday charged with federal gun crimes. More charges could follow as the 58 year old is suspected of a possible assassination attempt on former President Trump. After the arrest, the Secret Service finding an AK-47 style rifle with the serial number removed. A GoPro camera and two backpacks where he was hiding just outside at the Trump International Golf Course also in West Palm Beach. It was one or two holes behind that because the bubble moves across, uh, through the uh, golf course. So our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointing out our agents engaged. Suspect's demeanor I would describe as having a relatively calm, flat, a fact he was not displaying a lot of emotions, never asked what, what is this about, obviously law enforcement with long rifles, blue lights, a lot going on, never questioned it. Routes family saying this doesn't sound like the caring man they know. Fox News has also learned Routh lives in Hawaii. Video from his island home shows two women leaving shortly after his arrest, along with two unmarked SUVs. Routh owned Camp Box Honolulu, a shed building company, according to his LinkedIn profile, and was once asked to help build tiny homes for the homeless. Rouse was interviewed back in 2018 after his home flooded. And we had building materials under the house, so all the lumber under the house started floating out into the yard. We uh, recently just jacked the house up two or three feet. More information is coming out about who he is and 7 News has learned he does have a checkered past. Before moving to Hawaii, Routh lived in North Carolina where he was reportedly arrested after barricading himself in his roofing company's office during a three-hour standoff in 2002. On social media, he presents himself as a staunch supporter of Ukraine, even going to the country according to family members to volunteer shortly after the war broke out. I think on the scale of things, we're going to find him to probably be more sophisticated rather than than not. The federal hearing took about eight minutes and soon after Routh was seen leaving the courthouse in protective custody as agents now work to figure out how he was able to get so close to Trump. It's unprecedented in a civilized society. And I think we're becoming more and more uncivilized, sadly, uh, with the political diatribes that are going on and the political um, you know, indictments of either candidate. So I don't think this is the last we'll see of crazies out there trying to do this. So Routh faces one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, another count of obliterating or removing that serial number on that firearm. Now, if he's convicted on both charges, he faces up to 25 years behind bars. And again, more charges could follow. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Vanessa Medina, 7 News.